you doing? You have joined me on a very glorious Monday. Having a makeup free day which feels so nice. I haven't had a like makeup free day in such a long time. I don't know why, I think it's because I'm always either heading out to go shoot something or I'm doing videos or I don't know, for, for whatever reason it's been a long time since I've had a makeup free day. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna take full advantage of that today. Um, and I'm just in my super oversized jumper, which is from Topshop. It's quite old, so I can't link it, I'm afraid. And then I've just got on some jeans. Um, but today has just been one of those days where I've just kind of been like ticking stuff off the to-do list. There hasn't really much I can film. I've literally just either been sat at the table or on the sofa doing stuff on my laptop, like replying to emails, creating documents, designing stuff, um, phone calls, all that lot. So it's not really the most thrilling content to film for a vlog. Um, so that's why I'm literally jumping on now at 20 past four. <laughs> but I'm debating whether to get a creams. I kind of want a creams. And if you don't know what creams is, it's basically this company. Um, I think they have them in London as well. I don't know, I've never seen them in London, but I'm assuming they are over the UK. Um, and they sell like pancakes, waffles, cookie dough, ice cream. So I'm tempted to get it delivered with delivery, but um, let me message Eli and see whether he wants one as well. I'm going to order a creams lol. Do you want one as well? <laughs> Hello. Are you actually? Am I actually, yeah, I'm actually going to do it. <laughs> Would you like one? I'd say no. <laughs> okay.
So if you've been watching my monthly favourite videos, then I would have featured this mug. Um, I think in my recent one actually in March, my March video. Um, and then it's also featured a lot in my vlogs because I just, like I've mentioned before, I really love like how rustic it is. It's like the perfect shape. Um, so it's always the mug that I use to make like um, caramel latte or hot chocolate or stuff or something. Um, so <laughs> because I love it so much, I kind of bit the bullet and I bought the whole crockery set because I've already got two mugs and I've got like the little side plate and it's I just love the way they look so much and the problem is as well is that we have so many different ceramics and plates and stuff that they don't actually match we've just got like loads of different ones that we've bought throughout the years or like at different stores um so I kind of said to Eli you know like one day I actually want to have like a full-on matching set you know if we have people come around for dinner eventually or even just for us, it's quite nice to have like the whole thing matching instead of all different. Um, so yeah, I bought it all. <laughs> Basically, oh my god, did you see how wheezy I was? <laughs> so I thought I would unbox it all with you and show you guys. So to start off with is the mugs. Um, they are in a four pack, so I now have six in total, which I don't think Eli's very happy about. Because um, <laughs> I like to collect mugs. But it doesn't matter. Anyway, yep, so this is them here. They are all actually kind of slightly different. Oops. <laughs> so, again, it's just like how rustic and homemade they are, which I really, really love. So, yeah. Oh, look, look like how speckly that one is. Mm -hmm. Both of you, the camera and you. <laughs> um, I will leave the links for everything in the description box below. Um, the set is called Barnaby, um, I literally bought it, what's the day today, Wednesday, I literally bought it Tuesday, so yesterday, um, and because they're now linked with Argos, you can get next day delivery, so they didn't take long to arrive at all, which was handy. What these ones are, I think these are maybe the side plates, <gasps> yes, these are the side plates, um, that is them there again. So it's got like the kind of brown edging, um, really nice kind of rough ceramic feel. So online, they didn't really have like a good picture of the cereal bowl. So I couldn't really tell like the size or like the depth. I know there's measurements probably in the information box, but it's just not quite the same, is it? And to be honest, I probably would have still got that wrong anyway. Okay, they're quite a weird, is that, that's not a cereal bowl is it? No. <laughs> that's a very wide cereal bowl. Um, very shallow as well. Yeah, not very big. How many you got then? You get four. Do you have to buy the whole set as one bit? No, I just went OTT and bought everything. Because then I, I kind of wanted, I wanted it all. Don't get me wrong, they are cute. Yeah. Not as serially as I thought they would be. So that is them all stacked up. Like you could use them for like soup <laughs> or crisps. <laughs> I don't know. Um, they are really cute though, but they're definitely not a cereal bowl. Defo not habitat. Next, I'm going to do the pasta bowls. Once again, I didn't need pasta bowls at all. We've got like eight in the cupboard. Is it you or me? Yeah. Oh, who is it? Anyway, I think what I was saying is, yeah, I've already got a lot of pasta bowls in the cupboard. Um, so I didn't really need to buy these, but then I was like, well, what's the point of buying the whole set and not the pasta bowls and just have the pasta bowls missing? Do you know what I mean? Again, these are very shallow. They are no, that's, nice. That's no, that's a, no, that's fine. They're a decent size. So yeah. Like I said, very shallow, but got a good got a good whip from them. Yeah. <laughs> no, you like. <gasps> Whoa. Look how speckly that is. You don't like it, do you? No, I, I don't like it. 
Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah, look at the bottom. Look at whose bottom? It's nice. It's nice. Look how speckly that is. Oh, stunning. That is a stunning dinner plate. Oh, I'm chuffed with myself, I am. Okay, this one, not as speckly. It's nice to have a little bit of, um, Vavar... 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 Variety? Variety. 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 Ah, Oh, Habitat, you've done me dirty. Look how, like, plain that one is. I kind of like that though, because then... They're all so different. Yeah, but we like different dinner plates, but then Actually, this... look. Look. That is massive. I think it's the lighting of them. No, that is massive. I do like that one, because they are the same, but then they're a bit... It looks more handmade. So minimal, though, compared to that. Gutted. Where's, where's the brown? Do they forget to put it on it? <laughs> It's a weird one. It's a weird one. That's so much more white. The brown's not as dark. Nonetheless, I'm happy with everything else. Just this one plate, because it doesn't even pass as like the same collection, because when they're next to each other, the browns look so different. If the browns are the same colour, I'd be fine. Happy with my purchases. Good afternoon. Um, it is 20 to 4. <laughs> 20 to 4 on a Thursday afternoon. Um, this morning I basically had a meeting and then I've just been in the bedroom shooting lots of pictures. Should I say that really weird? I've been, shooting, I've been in the bedroom shooting lots of pictures. I got my nails on yesterday, as you would have seen. They are so cool they're not something that i usually go for um but i always go for like a really kind of like swirly squiggly pattern so i thought you know what i'm gonna go for something different and for some reason i really wanted to get like a a green and like a peachy kind of orange um and i absolutely love them i just think they're so cool so i took loads of pictures of those this morning and then i also shot this oh dear oh. Um, I also shot this jumper which was actually kind of gifted to me it is from this brand called Mocha Goods she is um, I don't know if I've shown this in the vlog but I got this mug from her which is such such a nice mug like I mentioned yesterday I have a thing for mugs I just the collection is just ever growing um, but yeah, I got this one from her, which is such a lovely little size. Again, it's very kind of rustic, homemade vibe, which I love. Um, so that is from Mocha Goods as well. So she kindly sent me this jumper, which is a vintage one, so you can't buy the exact same. But there is lots of other jumpers that look very, very similar. So yeah, so I shot that as well. Um, and then I've just kind of been taking my time. That's my Thursday so far. I just shot a picture with the new crockery. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. But I don't know whether I'm gonna post it, but it's there if I want. It's just, you know, it's there if I want it. What was I gonna to say to you? Ah, I had an amazing delivery this morning. It's from Donut Time. I am very, very lucky. I am on their PR like list. I wasn't, ex I wasn't expecting Donut Time anytime soon. Um. But yeah, this was a very pleasant surprise, and I'm not even kidding you. The donuts are absolutely insane. Let me show you. Okay, so look at them. Look how incredible they look. Basically, this is the picnic donuts. Um, and here are the names. So you've got Hotline Ring, uh, 99 Problems, Hey Macarena, <laughs> Jamarun Diaz, Christina Fabulera, and Rise and Shine. 
I just think the names of them are always the best part as well. Just to obviously kind of like go through them really quickly. That is like a pineapple flavour. This one has a jam filling, but on the, the little piece of paper, it says it's like strawberry pie filling, which is just chef's kiss. Um, obviously that one, the inspo was like a fair by Sully, which I think is so cool. Then you've got ice cream with an actual, an actual little comb. It even has a mini flake. How insane is that? And then this one's got a little macaroon on it. You've got party rings up here. Just, oh, honestly, it was such an exciting delivery this morning. Was not expecting it. it. Lifted my mood. You can't go wrong with donuts, can you? Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. You've joined me. <laughs> You've joined me on a glorious Friday where I am shooting with India Moon, who's currently... India Moon. Oh, I can't. <laughs> India Moon. India Moon. Um, Today is shoot day, so day yeah, just kind of roaming the streets of Brighton town. Taking really good weather. It's the perfect weather today. It's like still quite bright, but like no full on sunshine, which is what I love. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good Friday so far. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? We're in a little tent. Um, it's pouring it down with rain. Guys, look at the weather. I'm really not having it. We are literally. Just under a trench coat <laughs> to protect the fringe. Yeah, the fr oh yeah, the um, fringe. I haven't had a fringe in rain before. What happens to it? It goes fluffy. Oh, it doesn't look good. I um, feel though. Can you see over there? Yeah. This is going to be a shower, and then it's going to stop. <laughs> I'm really optimistic. How are we? Here we are. <laughs> On our backs. Oh my god. And this is completely random because the last thing you saw I was out on the street shooting with India but um, we've got like a really nice veggie chilli for dinner we're just about to pop on Taskmaster but I've used the small bowl look how cute it looks for my little meal <laughs> my small portion um, there you go that's it against Eli's size bowl but yeah I'm keeping them I love them, and I think it looks really, really cute. <laughs> Just mixing in that honey, guys. <laughs> love it. Oh, God. <laughs> everyone I have just got back from being out of India um, I'm a bit out of breath. <laughs> anyway I thought I would show you my outfit because I, I feel like I haven't really done an outfit of the day in such a long time um, and I quite like today's so I'm gonna share it with you so to start off with I have just a grey sweatshirt which is kind of tucked in at the front to show like the black belt um, grey sweatshirt is from Topshop I think I got it a year or two years ago but Grey sweatshirts are pretty much everywhere, um, so it's really easy to get hold of one. Um, I've got a trench coat on, which is from ASOS. I've got my Studio 94 black sling banana bag. I've got these jeans here, which are the cropped keeper fit from And Other Stories. I just really love the colour. I think it's a really nice blue. The denim's really nice. They were like quite tight to begin with, um, but after wearing them a few more times, it's kind of like stretched, so they feel more comfortable now. And then I've got on my Doc Martin quad boots, which I haven't worn in such a long time. Um, so it feels nice getting these back out again. But yeah, that is the full outfit. Um, it's a very kind of like easy, simple, chuck on look. But sometimes I think they're the best ones, you know, where it hasn't really required much thinking and it's very simple and it still looks good. Um, but yeah, so I literally met India around lunchtime, we shot a few outfits and then we went to a cafe and had some lunch. But it started raining. <laughs> literally started raining just as we were finishing up and we were like, oh, I think that's perfect timing. So we've just both got home. Okay. I have changed my outfit, we're just about to head out because I basically had a phone call um, from someone who 
someone who works at Boots because I dropped off like four disposable cameras and the pictures are ready to finally pick up which I'm so excited about. So we're just going to pop out, me and Eli, um, and yeah, just get the photos from Boots and then probably, I don't know, maybe go for a drink or maybe come back, I'm not quite sure. But I've changed. So I've got my Topshop dad jeans on, my New Balance trainers because my Dot Martens were really hurting my feet which is quite sad but it doesn't matter. Still got the grey sweatshirt on and then I've just chucked on this really oversized tweed blazer which is actually Eli's um, so it's really really big but yeah I quite like the, the oversized look and then I'm probably just going to use a tote so I can just chuck everything in here. Oh and then I've also got on um, my pink oval Ray-Bans which I got from John Lewis um, but I imagine they're still available. I will try and link them below if I can. just popped to the shops after our kind of like drink um pick these up which i've never tried before spicy barbecue flavor i love pringles anyway and i love the barbecue like texas flavor so i'm very intrigued for those we've also decided that we're going to have hot dogs tonight obviously veggie sausages um we've got those and then we've also got some fries um what else we got in here more vanilla lattes. I also got this new flavour of Copperberg, passion fruit and orange. Again, very intrigued to try this. This is really new. I think it was only released maybe last week. Um, very excited about that. And then what else did I get? Oh, got myself a Mars bar. And then I got Eli a Reese's Nutrageous bar, which looks pretty decent. I also received my ASOS parcel. I ordered it yesterday. A little bit light. Let's turn it down. Yeah, so I saw this jumper on Eli's brother's story. Um, it's a men's jumper, and I was like, oh, that is the coolest jumper ever. And I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to order it. So I did. Um, I think it's one of those jumpers on ASOS that has sold out pretty quickly. We'll still link it below, of course, because it probably will come back in stock. <laughs> but look at him! It is thick as well. It's really thick. I got it in a size medium, because obviously I would want it to be kind of oversized, but now I'm like, should I have got it even bigger? Oh, it's too fitted, isn't it? It's way too fitted. Medium. No. Well, that's extremely disappointing. I had such high hopes for this and was so excited for it to arrive. Definitely going to be returning it because it's not the vibe that I really wanted. Which is a shame because it's super cute. But, um, yeah, sad times.